Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Jose Vega and in this episode, I'm gonna show you five things you probably didn't know about Photoshop. Let's check them out. Okay, so let's jump right into this. Number one, numero uno, is going to be over scroll. Now you can find the over scroll um, option here. If you go to your settings here, you go to tools and you're gonna see it here. And by default, this is off, right? And what this does is that if I want to, if I see my canvas here and I want to move my canvas, I'm trying to move it from side to side and try to accommodate it somewhere else here but it's not really letting me. So if I go to over scroll, go to tools, and I enable that, now I'm able to move my canvas here. And this is great for, you know, to be able to do this and place my canvas in a spot where, where it's gonna be more comfortable for my arm to, to uh, paint on. So you have the ability to, to do this, all right? So that's number one. Number two is uh, one about brushes. And this one, let's say I'm used to, for example, I have this simple round brush, you can see it here. And if I wanna increase the size or decrease the size, I use my brackets, right? So I go up and down like that, right? And I'm gonna open the brush settings here so you can actually see what's happening. And when I paint, let's just uh, pick a color here. So I paint here and let's, bring the opacity all the way up, right? And if I'm using my brackets, it does this step, um, the stepping in size here. But if I press Alt and I drag uh, with the right click from side to side, you're gonna see that I can change the size um, here as well. So instead of using my brackets, I, I just, I only need um, Alt. So right click and then, and I have right click set up on my pen so on one of my pen clicks so i can easily do this now the other thing that goes along with this is that that's from side to side if i go from um up and down as i'm doing the same thing you're gonna see here that the hardness of the brush changes as well if i want it super soft i go up and it's softer if i do the same thing you're gonna see here that it goes harder Right? So you can change the size and the hardness of the brush with just Alt and then, of course, uh, right click and drag it. Now, number three, let's actually go to this image here. And number three has to do with cropping. Now, when I crop, I press C as the key, uh, for the keyboard uh, shortcut, right? And I get my crop in here. And if I want to crop, you know, I can either click and drag and I crop here like that, right? Um, but what happens is that if I didn't like that crop or I needed something from outside the canvas now, I, I lost it. Like I don't, I don't have it. Right. So if I try to, you know, if I try to get what was here, I, I don't have it. So a way to fix that is that let's go back here. And when you do the cropping, when you go to the cropping tool, you're going to see this little icon here. And you click that off and what that does is that um it pretty much it doesn't delete what's outside of the cropping image that you're doing so if i crop again here like so press enter right and now you're gonna see already that the image is still that big so if i move around here i still have the rest of the image all right so i think this is very useful if you if you want to come back to it or if you want to um, grab some of the information outside of that canvas. All right. So tip number four, we're going to go to this image here and this one has to do with layers. And as you can see in this painting, I have a lot of layers here, right? And if you're a person that, that doesn't name the, the layers or it's just, you know, it keeps creating layers and, you know, I could get a little bit disorganized. Um, it's going to be really hard to know which layers are what, right? So one trick I do is if I, if I keep this bounding box enabled, I get a bounding box like you see here. So that sort of tells me or gives me an idea of what this is, but sometimes it doesn't help me that much. So one thing that you can do is that if you right click on one of these layers here, like so, 
you're going to go to clip thumbnails or layer bounds. And what that does is that this preview here in this layer is only going to show what's in the layer. So you don't have the zoomed out version of the whole image. You only have what's in that layer, right? And you can also make these thumbnails bigger if you want. For example, I got that and this. And so um, I think this is a good way for you to sort of know what's in the layer if you if you end up with a lot of layers. Now, last one, number five, it's going to be also about layers, but uh, let's just say we're back here into this um, painting. And let's just say, um, you know, having this layer, the, you know, all the overlays for like the grass and the flowers and all that stuff, right? And sometimes I like to, uh, it doesn't have to be this exact situation, but in this case, it's, it's going to be. So let's just say I want these, um, leaves and stuff that I got here, I want I want to duplicate them around and or I want to get them out from here into a new layer. And what you can do is like if you select it, I'm selecting with my lasso tour here and I press control J. What it does is creates a duplicate of that selection from that layer. Right. So if I move it, you know, have a, a duplicate of it. But sometimes I don't want to duplicate. I actually want to take this area or from that layer and just move it to a different layer by cutting it off. So if you press, if you do the same thing, so let's select it, and then you do Control Shift J. Now it created a new layer, as you can see here. When I move it, it removed it from the original layer. So uh, depends on the situation you want to do one or the other, but uh, this will this will erase one step. Every time you do it, for example, you only do Control J. Usually, if I do Control J, got a new layer, and now I gotta go back to this one, grab it, and delete it, right? So that will also um, that will help removing those steps from that process. All right, guys. So that was it for today's episode. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one.